I'm Kenneth Wedged. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So I've been teaching at a local high school, photography, digital photography, film photography, and Photoshop. And I recently experienced their first Summer Olympics. They have a little outdoors game right before the last day of school. So I photographed it and I photographed it with two lenses. I used a 150 to 600 long zoom on a monopod and I had a 17 to 35 wide angle on a second body. And with those two lenses, two cameras and access, I could go anywhere. I could be as close or as far away from the action as I wanted to be. You can do a lot. And I'll put a link to the pictures down below. But it was one of those things where you can make great photographs, but access is key. And I had great access because I'm a teacher there, so I could be right in the middle of the field. Everybody knew me. And it's one of those things where the photos are important to make. The photos are important to shoot tightly and get great expressions. And then to go back and edit out anything but the absolute best and make a tight body of work. Now that gallery that I'm going to post is probably not so tight as far as there are very few photos. There's 12 photos to represent the whole day because I was trying to put a lot of faces in there. And then the next day we had them on display in the lobby of the school and people could come in and watch the slideshow and see their photos. So I was trying to represent a lot of people's faces because people want to see themselves. If you're a student and you were out there, you want to see yourself playing. So the gallery is probably heavier than what I would submit to like a, a magazine or a newspaper if I were doing a story on this. But there's different numbers of photos in a gallery based on the need. And this need was a slideshow that would be very well presented and viewed by a student body. And the goal was to see a lot of faces in there. So I'll put a link to that below. And then following that, I went to graduation and I photographed graduation. And to me, just like people who photograph at parades know often the best photos are before the parade and after the parade. The same thing with this. The best photos were the people who were at the graduation, but an hour before and a little bit after some of the better expressions happened because you were there with what was the people anticipating and getting hugs and sharing, you know, smiles and thanks and tears with each other. And it was a great example of how, again, access, I could go anywhere. I shot that with two lenses, an 80 to 200, 28 and a 17 to 35. That 80 to 200 comes in handy inside when you're shooting, when you're not a lot, able to get a lot of light. And that lens works great for documenting that, getting close-ups of people at podiums and things like that. But a two lens shoot for both events, the graduation certainly is a very different kind of event, but both of them, it's a question of what do I bring? What lens works best? What would be the best choice to make the photos that are going to be, you know, representing that school and the students can see again, a lot of faces. That gallery is also going to be on the links below and also it's probably a little bit of a heavier gallery than some because I'm trying to include everybody so that they can all see their faces. Shooting for your audience is important. Making the gallery size the right size for the audience. If I'm showing this work to a friend, they would rather see 20 photos tops. If I'm showing it to the parents and the students, they would rather see 100 photos. Make the work fit the story that you're telling and who your audience is. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I'll be back next week. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.